Hey YouTubers, it's Dansky. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at creating custom shapes in Adobe Photoshop. Let's get started. So we're now in Photoshop, and we're gonna start by going over to our Layers palette and creating a new layer. Once we've done that, we can go over here to where we've got the different shapes, and if you left click and hold, you'll get all these different options, and we're going to select the Custom Shape tool. And we've got all these extra options along the top here, so we have the fill, the stroke, also known as the outline. So we could select something here. Let's pick, a, let's pick this color. And for the fill, I have the fill as white. We can select the weight of the outline or the stroke. Let's go with five points. We can select the stroke option. So whether it's a straight line, a dashed line, a dotted line, whether the caps on the end are straight or rounded off, whether the stroke or the outline is aligned to the inside, to the center, or the outside of the shape. So let's pick this one, which I believe is outside. And then whether the corners are slightly rounded off as well, or whether they're straight. We've got the width and the height of our shape. And then if you look up here, we've got the actual shape itself. And Photoshop comes with plenty of pre-made shapes that you can use. And if you go up to this little options cog icon here, you get different categories and you can load in new shapes, but you can also click all. And then if you click append, it will load the entire library of shapes into this window. And we can make that a bit bigger, just down the bottom right, just drag that out. And it now loads all the shapes into this one window. So we can scroll through these and we can pick a shape. So let's go for a key here. So once we've set all our options up here, we can left click and just drag anywhere on the canvas. You'll see that if you left click and drag, you can skew it. If you hold down the Alt key, it will create the shape from the center rather than from the top left like this. And if you hold down shift when you click and create, it will keep the shape proportionate. So it won't skew it in any way, it will keep the shape exactly as it should appear, but you're just adjusting the size. And release, and there we go. So we've got our key shape. And now this is shape one in the layers palette. And if we select our path selection tool, you'll see that we can click this now and we can edit these options up here if we like. So we could change this to a dotted line and we could change the color again. Let's go for a green and we'll change the fill as well to, there we go, we'll go with that. So you can edit the shape as much as you need to and it will stay editable here in the layers palette as well. You can also double click this uh, layer in the palette and you can just change the color from here if you like. And the excellent thing about this being a vector shape in Photoshop is that you can actually select the direct selection tool and you can click the different anchor points and the same as you would in Illustrator, you can pull them out, you can adjust the handles, they're fully editable in the same way that you would in Adobe Illustrator. As always guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. Take care.